Welcome to Bodybuilding Simplified, where I make complicated things easy to understand. A lot of people have been asking me how long to rest between the sets, so today I will tell you everything that you will need to know. No nonsense studies, just useful informations. Right to the point. The length of your rest periods is going to be dependent on what type of exercise you are doing. Generally, the harder the exercise is, the longer you will have to rest in between. So I'm gonna go over all the scenarios so you know exactly what to do. First up, let's talk about the heavy low rep work. So that means all the compound lifts and other really high effort exercises that really tax your body both physically and mentally. For these types of exercises, you usually hear that you should rest between 3 to 5 minutes, but you can rest even longer if you feel like you need to. It's always better to rest more than not to rest enough. Then on the other end of the spectrum, we have the isolation exercises. They are usually performed with lighter weight, so that's why they are not very taxing for your body overall. Usually you only feel the burn in the local area, which is gonna disappear pretty quickly right after you finish your set. That is why the rest periods can be very short. It can be anywhere from 20 seconds all the way to 2 minutes, depending on what type of exercise you are doing. For example, if you are doing triceps pushdowns, and even after a minute you still feel like you can't even bend your arm because of all the lactic acid in your muscles, then just rest a little bit more. And lastly, we have the middle ground between compound and isolation exercises. Let's call them standard sets in around the 8 to 15 rep range. Here, as the word middle ground suggests, you want to be somewhere in between the two rest periods I mentioned in this video. So if you want a concrete number, I would say 3 to 4 minutes between the standard sets. But there is more to it than just these prescribed numbers. Yes, they are a good baseline to go off of, but there are a couple of questions that you should ask yourself before you want to do another set. First question that you should ask yourself is... Is my cardiovascular system going to limit my next set? This means that if you are still heavily breathing, you should for sure rest a little bit more. Next question that you should ask yourself is, is the main muscle that I'm targeting in this exercise fully recovered? This means that if the muscle that you are targeting is still feeling weak and burning, which would result in you not being able to perform another high quality set, then just rest a tiny bit more. And the last question that you should ask yourself is, are the muscles that support the exercise that you are doing fully recovered? For example, if you are doing a bicep curl and you feel like your forearms are so fatigued that in the next set they would give in before the main muscle you are targeting, in this instance biceps, that means that you should rest a bit more until the main and also the supportive muscle groups are recovered to the point where you can perform the next set in the same quality as the first one. So that's it. Hopefully this answered all of your questions about the rest periods between the sets. And I just want to say that if you are new to the gym, you don't need to stress about the rest times. You should first get all the basics in check and then you can worry about stuff like rest times. Until then, just do the next set when you feel like you are recovered enough. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and comment for the algorithm gods. And if you still haven't subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. Thanks.